You're watching WMAR 2 News. A new art installment honors Maryland's response to the pandemic. It's in the lobby at the Baltimore Convention Center. In the thick of the pandemic, the building became a field hospital for COVID testing and to treat us. One doctor says this is not a decoration. This is a powerful reminder of how art is as necessary to humans as oxygen. Viruses don't make art. Viruses don't use science and innovation to cure disease. When science and art combine, you get miracles. Baltimore area high school students created this exhibit. It's hard for anyone who is seven feet tall to surprise anybody, but it can still happen. <laughs> oh, yo! <laughs> that is good. Youth basketball players, they were touring CFG Bank Arena last week when Shaq surprised them. It was ahead of his DJ performance at Camden Yards last week. Shaq also owns a Big Chicken. That's a fast food spot with a location inside the arena. Our heat and humidity continue. We're talking upper 80s, low 90s, a sticky dew point. That'll lead to afternoon thunder showers. You might have to bring it in for a bit. If one of those rain showers finds you, rumble thunder, flash of lightning, brief heavy downpour. You know the drill. It's been the better part of this week. Sunday things change. Cold front comes through, and that'll drop us back to the mid 80s. A little more organized storms there. The potential for more rain, even than what we've seen, will kind of reset the atmosphere. We dry out a bit Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just to warm back up. Upper 80s, low 90s. Been hot and humid once again, but Jamie, a break from the rain by the time we get to the middle part of next week. All right, Chris, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.